Hey guys, thank you for tuning in today. We're checking out the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, we review cars we've got for sale. We go through them, give you our impression, tell you some details, and uh, get into the nooks and crannies. This is a 69 S-Code Mach 1. Um, this being an S-Code gives this car a shaker hood, a 390 big block V8, a four speed, and a whole lot more good going on. This is a very special car. Tune in with us as we go through it here. All right, starting right up front, we have a very iconic front end. Um, this is one of my favorite on the Mustangs here. There is some kind of rally style lights. We've got a little chin splitter, lovely chrome, the graded grill. It's a very, very slick front end. And then something they're doing on the new GT500 Mustangs, they brought this thing back. The, uh, the hood pins, yes, these were factory. Very cool, kind of racy feel that you could get right out of the showroom back in 69. The shaker hood, which normally you'd think only came on the Cobra Jet, you could get on the 390. This is, I might have already said it, one of only 800 um, in this configuration. Voila. Uh, gorgeous, man. So you see we got some nice chrome valve covers on this 390. We do have power disc brakes. We've got power steering. All those uh, creature comfort amenities we're, we're used to in these new cars today um, are on this car. So these are factory options. They make it driving this car a breeze. And yeah, that, that covers the, the under the hood quite well, I'd say. The, um, the oil does have a cooler with a little pusher fan on it. Um, helping keep temps low. If you want to sit in traffic, go through the parade, the car show, it's not going to be a problem in this Mustang here, which is cool. I'll show you this hood closing up. Just like that. And take a little trip with me. We're going to head this way. The first stop is going to be on these mag wheels with those brand new BFG radial TAs. A car like this, you're going to be thankful you got the radial. And what better could you do than a BFG? Very, very slick. It helps make the car, no doubt. And then you look down the side profile here, you notice the fitment is spectacular. The lines are wonderful. The Mach 1 graphic, boy, it's a sweetheart. You see this car, whether it's at a gas station, driving by you, you've got to stop and look. And that is one of the telltale signs you got a hot car. <laughs> um, fitment on the door, I love it. All of the bright work, all of the glass. Look at the little reflection on that there. It's really, really nice. They, they did a, a fabulous job restoring this car. That work was completed in 2012. Um, since then, the car has been enjoyed, but certainly it shows it's been very well cared for. Some details to touch on in the back. Aside from them big old hips, we've got a nice little spoiler. We've got quad tips. Quad, yes, so four exhaust tips just like a new GT500. It's looked like they're, they're getting some ideas from the past. They say uh, history repeats. They did something right back then and they're bringing it right on back. Lovely, tough looking uh, satin finish spoiler. The sports roof with the louver glass. This is a very, very hot car. Um, we come around. The passenger side, you guessed it. They matched it to the driver. The fitment is wonderful. The bright work fits nicely everywhere. The graphics put on quite well. And I like the operation of the door, everything. Why don't I show you that here? Check this out. Very tidy. I'll give you a quick peek at the interior. This is in all of the uh, original color specs, even though it's been redone. Originally a cranberry red car, originally with the red bucket interior of the console and a four speed. And good news, this is a numbers matching drivetrain front to back, which is a big deal in these collector cars. Tight like a glove. 
Got a little antenna on the top of the fender here for our factory optioned AM radio. And that about wraps up the exterior of this car. We can do a quick cut scene and I want to show you guys the trunk and a slightly closer look at the interior. Inside of this car, we've got a lot of nice colors, accents, textures working together. At least I think so. I'm going to start the little wood card inserts in the door here, pairing up to this wood wheel, then right over to the console. We have wood inlaid on the, uh, on the instrument panel there. It all comes together very, very nicely. It's, it's very hot for the era, and I think still looks damn good today. Um, the dash pad is in almost perfect condition. I can't find a flaw on it. Um, good news, guys. All of our dome lights, door lights, everything is working. And guess what? All of your gauges, your headlights, your blinkers, your brake lights, we've taken care of everything. So all that is going to work just fabulous for you. We know the radio tunes up real good, too. Um, let me fold the seat back here for you. Give me a sec, I'll climb in here. Goes that way. Give you a closer look at the back here. So we got a uh, seat belt for all four passengers in this car. Um, all of the stitching everywhere. Everything's very plush, no tears, no fading. Even this headliner, our domes at the back, everything's in really fabulous shape. This car does too, was optioned with these shoulder belts and these look to be date coded correct. They have the little tags on them. This is very, very cool stuff. Put that seat back into position. Got our Hearst T handle, gotta love that. And let me grab these keys. We'll take a look at the trunk real quick. So to point out a couple cool details at the back, I've always loved these little gas fills. You're never gonna lose that cap because it stays attached. That is very nice and convenient. And it looks damn cool. Something uh, you'd see on like a fighter jet. Get our key in here, trunk pops nicely. Uh, the detail work, the seals, everything is in really good order and obviously very functional. In the back here, we've got some receipts for you. Um, some of the highlights I'd like to share um, are this Marty report and original uh, warranty identification card, which is crazy that it's still with the car and in really good shape and still stuck to the uh, original card there. Very slick. I'll show you this closing up. And um, so you guys know, there'll be uh, close up pictures of all that included in the listing on our website. Guys, always my pleasure. Thank you for taking the time with us today. If you like this car, if you wanna know anything more about it, think you might wanna own it, how can we ship it, finance it, warranty, whatever it be, shoot us a call, an email. I'll put all the info down below in the description of this video, as well as a link to view this car, all of the pictures of the underbody, the full description on our website. That link will be in the description to the video as well. Um, and our number here for you is 248 714-2110. Give us a buzz anytime. We'll be glad to help. So thank you for tuning in and thank you from LaFontaine Classics. We'll see you guys.